So you broke your wings. Let's talk about how we fix them today on the Big Sky Steerman Show. I'm John Pike, Big Sky Steerman. Uh, once in a while we get something other than a Steerman to repair. We have here a little experimental Piper uh, look-alike cubby. They have a, a wing similar to a Piper J3, but uh, it's got wooden ribs instead of the aluminum ribs of the Piper. It's got wooden spars instead of the metal spars of the post-war uh, cu uh, cubs. Uh, we're gonna have uh, Brent, who's repaired these two wings, explain to you uh, what he repaired. And we all understand the fragility of these little airplanes. And this is a sure sign that the airplane wound up upside down. So uh, it cracked spars and broke ribs. And Brent's gonna show you what he did to repair it. Like John said, we got a set of experimental wings here that experienced uh, a little bit of a whoopsie and got some damage. On this one, we predominantly had rib damage that we were dealing with. We had five ribs that had varying degrees. Uh, the most extreme was the tip rib here. So this, this is the tip rib uh, that was pretty much obliterated. Uh, we were able to kind of Frankenstein that original rib back together and build a fixture off it. Let me show you that real quick. So this is what was left of that tip rib. We were able to get some pieces and some gussets and put it back together. Not quite perfectly, but good enough that we're able to use it for a fixture that it sits down in and we were able to build our new tip rib off of this. So yeah, we got the, the new tip rib installed and secured. Uh, then it was just a matter of going through and uh, repairing all the other damage to the, to the existing ribs that needed it. Um, so this is a rib that just needed a new piece of cap strip. We were able to butt join it in here to the front uh, with the reinforcement block add some new diagonal pieces that had also been uh, broken, and then scarf it into the existing tail there where it connects with our trailing edge metal. Um, and then this is another example of the cap strip being broken. Uh, so we are able to just cut out the broken and damaged piece uh, and then scarf in a, a new piece of cap strip to that and throw some reinforcement plates and it's good to go. So these are the last two ribs that we had to repair. Again, just some minor cap strip repair where we added uh, new pieces where damage had happened, um, as well as some diagonal repair. Now on this one, the customer had hoped that we'd be able to salvage a portion of uh, the fabric uh, and limit the amount of time that we had to spend redoing that. Unfortunately, during our inspection, we found that these two ribs here on the root end uh, had been damaged to the point that they did need to be repaired, which means that we had to pull the fabric off the whole wing. On the other wing, we were actually able to save some of the fabric. So here, most of the damage uh, happened near the root, um, and so we didn't have to worry about getting into the tip area. So we were able to cut the fabric, pull some of the reinforcement tape off to uh, expose the stitching, and a new piece of fabric will be able to just be uh, applied right underneath with a new piece of reinforcement, and it'll give a nice seamless look to it. So this wing is where some of the, the major damage happened. Um, so there was some, some rib damage that we had to address, uh, but the largest damage happened to the front spar uh, where uh, a lot of the impact happened and it actually ended up cracking the front spar. We can look at the piece that we removed and see that it had actually split that spar right in half. So this is the, the, the piece that we removed and replaced on the the wing so let's go have a look at how we did that so here you can see uh the the new piece of spar where it's been scarfed into the existing spar over here uh, the reinforcement plates that uh, will saddle that scarf joint uh, just to give it a little bit extra strength using uh the other wing we were able to locate off of this compression member where uh the the other compression member was located um, and that gave us a, a good starting point. So we were able to draw a center line, locate the two holes for that. And once we had those drill and located, we were actually able to clamp the broken piece of the spar back together into one piece and then pin it in place with these two new holes. 
to give us all the locations for the root holes um, for both the tank support as well as the, the root plates. The big important thing there is since this is an experimental plane, there are no drawings for us to get dimensions off of. So we kind of would have been shooting in the dark a little bit. So that, that really, really made this job a lot easier. So like the other wing, we had uh, three of the body ribs that we had to repair some of the cap strip on because of damage. Um, but one of the other major repairs that happened on this wing was the, the root rib. Um, when we got it, it was basically in splinters of plywood. Uh, and there was nothing on that rib that was salvageable. Uh, so we had to build a brand new fixture and produce uh, a brand new rib for this one. Um, so similar to the, the other fixture that we built, we just used one of the existing body ribs that we were able to slide off to create a fixture off of it, which allowed us to accurately reproduce the existing ribs and produce a brand new root rib. So yeah, this is the, the final product here. We have uh, all the damage repaired. Uh, it's been given a nice new fresh coat of varnish uh, to help seal it up and, and ensure that it lasts a long time. Uh, now it's just a matter of getting the rest of the leading edge metal on and getting a tank installed and getting the fabric done. So in this kind of repair job, you never really know what you're getting into until you've actually dug into it. Um, with this job, we end up spending a total of 120 hours uh, doing all the repairs and that's because a lot of the repairs were pretty pretty major repairs. But what you get out of this is a wing that's airworthy uh, and it's restored back to its original and is going to bolt right back up to your airplane and get you back up and flying. A lot of people are gonna ask, is it really worth it to spend all that time and effort? Um, in our opinion, it's always worth it because of what you get out of it. So thanks for watching the Big Sky Steerman Show. Make sure you like and subscribe and keep an eye out for more videos.